for Georgia's own David Reagan, it will be his 13th Daytona 500. His first came all the way back in 2007. Now he's 33 and spending speed weeks with his wife and his two girls. Yeah, we've got a lot more kid friendly foods in the motor home now than uh, I did 10 years ago. And um, I'll probably go to bed a little earlier than I used to. 2019 will be Reagan's third straight with Front Row Motorsports. He's coming off the best year the company has had when it comes to average finish. And he hopes the consistency will keep things moving in the right direction. The team has had some success, but the next step is getting into that top 15 and top 20 on a weekly basis, uh, being more competitive at the mile and a half racetracks, really our bread and butter. Uh, we've been able to have some success at super speedways, uh, short tracks and road courses, but we've got to improve at the mile and a half tracks. Reagan's also a big Georgia Tech football fan, so we couldn't let him get away without hearing his thoughts about the changes on the flats. I can't say enough about what Paul Johnson and his uh, group did over the past eight or ten years. Years. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to watch the Yellow Jackets and the ACC and, you know, win some big games. But uh, as that next chapter, we're going to have some tight ends. We're going to be, be throwing some passes, and uh, it will be a little different. It will be fun to watch, but if he can, uh, can, can pass that energy that he has to all the players and the rest of the staff, uh, maybe we'll have a great year. Saturday will be a practice day here at the track, and then Sunday we will see qualifying for the Daytona 500. That's at noon, and you can watch it right here on Fox 5. At Daytona International Speedway, Cody Chaffins, Fox 5 Sports.